Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's been announced. Danny Garcia will be facing Brandon Rios on February 17th, right? The WBC has made this a final eliminator. That means the winner of this fight will eventually get a shot at Keith Thurman. That is if he still has his WBC championship. You see, Keith Thurman will be coming back, I believe, some point in March. Hang on a second. Yeah, March. A lot of people are saying he's going to be fighting um, Jesse Vargas. After that fight, if he gets past Jesse Vargas, then he'll have to fight Sean Porter, who is the mandatory currently for the WBC championship, right? But back to Danny Garcia and Brandon Rios. This kind of raises the stakes for this fight. Unfortunately, we weren't able to, to see Danny Garcia fight Sean Porter, which would have been a great fight. However, Danny Garcia's team showed zero interest in making that fight. So we get Garcia versus Rios. Bam, bam. Brandon Rios recently joined the PBC. Uh, he fought on, what was that, back in June? Uh, he did fight Aaron Herrera. Um, I think he, he stopped him. I think it was a TKO victory over Herrera, right? So that was his first fight under the PBC banner. You know, historically, he's been a Bob Aaron fighter on the top rank. Uh, he's recently reunited with Robert Garcia, which is a good look. But, you know, honestly, the reason why he lost or he left Robert Garcia was because I thought they were too cool and he wasn't taking it serious. However, I've been watching some training tapes of Brandon Rios, and he's been looking good, honestly. I think we're going to be surprised at this fight. This should be a really good fight between Danny Garcia and Bam Bam. Now, I hope Brandon Rios can pull off a victory over Danny Garcia, pull up the upset. You know, I think he deserves a big win. You know, he looks like it looks like he's training hard. I think Danny's going to play right into his hand and try to bang with him. And I don't think Danny Garcia got the same power at 147. I think Brandon Rios can take I think he can take it and he can give it. You might say, well, he got stopped by old feather-fisted, swole biscuit head. Um, what's that boy name? <laughs> uh, Timothy Bradley, my fault, guys. So, yeah, big swole biscuit head Timothy Bradley stopped Brandon Rios. That was his first stoppage loss of his career, right? But I don't think Brandon was real. I don't think Rios was really ready for that fight, man. I don't think he trained 100% for that fight. I look at him now and I see a focused Brandon Rios. I see a guy who's able to keep the weight off in the offseason. I see a very determined Brandon Rios. And I think things will be different this time around with Robert Garcia. Now, we know Brandon Rios only has one gear, and that's Brawl. And he's going to come forward. Is Danny going to engage with him? I think he is. I think he will engage with him. I think he's in it for an exciting fight. I don't think he's going to be doing any running. So, I think we're going to get a stoppage in this fight. I think Brandon Rios is capable of stopping Danny Garcia. I don't think Danny Garcia can stop him. I don't think the power's there at 147. That's just my opinion. We'll see how the fight goes. Now, the winner of this fight will get Keith Thurman, right? Keith Thurman... Um, I don't know. You know, Keith Thurman is probably going to fight twice this year, right? So you got to figure his return fight in March or April, he'll be facing um, Jesse Vargas. Not confirmed yet, but that's what we have to look forward to. And I anticipate he's going to take some time off and fight one more time toward the end of the year. So he'll get the winner, Danny Garcia versus Brandon Rios. I am pulling for Brandon Rios to win this fight. I think this is a closer fight than what people are making it. You know, I think it's I, I think it could go either way. I'm pulling for Brandon Rios, so trust me. I'm not a fan, or I'm not going to say I'm not a fan of Danny Garcia. I just don't like his politics. I don't like the fact that he's, that he turned down a fight. He didn't even, he wasn't even interested in a fight with Sean Porter. That would have been a great fight for the fans. He won't even say Errol Spence's name. He won't even attempt to get in the ring with Spence, even though that could have been potentially for a title.
right? So I don't know. I'm not feeling Danny Garcia. You know, he said he's going to take over the 147 division. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. If he gets past Brandon Rios and he fights Heath Thurman again, he's going to lose, and it's going to be even more convincing. I'm just saying. You guys let me know what you think. Um, WBC has announced that this is a final eliminator. Danny Garcia versus Brandon Rios, February 17th. Oh, they're fighting in Vegas. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Let me know who you guys got winning that fight between Danny Garcia, Brandon Rios, and let me know how you think they fare against Keith Thurman. Again, the winner of this fight probably won't get Keith Thurman until the second half of 2018. But, I mean, 2018 is shaping up to be a good year for fights, man. Uh, well, we're in January right now. We'll see how it goes, man. Just like 2017 was a, a very exciting year for boxing, I anticipate 2018 will be even more exciting. Hitman Boxing, drop a comment, like the video, subscribe, I'm out.